Hello everybody, this is Scott Bradley from scottbradley.name and in this video I have two things that I want to tell you about. First thing is a really important thing that recently changed in Evernote that has directly affected my ability to use the, the platform effectively. And then another thing that I have to tell you is some really exciting news. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into the really important thing first that I wanted to let you know about and then we'll, we'll share or I will share what's going on with the exciting news. So at the end of May, basically what I learned is that Evernote implemented some new spam filters. And what that means is, is that it's going to impact our ability or some people's ability to be able to email into Evernote. Now what I want to do is show you how to get to your Evernote email address that will allow you to email into Evernote and then show you kind of where the problem is and where it's coming up for me and how it may be impacting you. So when you're first logged into your, this is again, this is the web-based Evernote account. Um, we have our notebooks here, we have our notes, and we got our content in each note within each notebook. Um, but I'm going to show you exactly where you can get your email address. And the reason this is valuable is because, say you have lots of emails in your inbox and you don't want to delete them, but you want to save them, emailing into Evernote really becomes valuable here. And unfortunately, at the end of May, like I said earlier, Evernote ended up changing their spam filters of what could be emailed in and from what email address and all that stuff. So if you want to see your email address up here in the top of the account, up in the top right, it says account settings. You're going to want to click that. And you're going to scroll down all the way until you see email notes 2 right here. And it's going to have this email address here. Again, this is just my account that I use to give these videos. So this isn't really my main Evernote account. Um, so I don't mind sharing it with you. But basically, where the problem is arising, at the end of May, I started forwarding stuff, continued to forward stuff into my Evernote, and I went and checked it one day, and I'm like, what is going on? Nothing is being sent in. That's a big issue, and I'm going to show you why that is a problem. Um, right here, I have this email up right now, just testing from main email, and I'm going to send it into this pre-launch one, send, boom. So it's sent in. I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to go back to my notes. And normally it would be sitting in my inbox right here. And no matter how many times I try to refresh, 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 Evernote basically has blocked my email address, which is really a self-hosted email that does not allow it to come in. Um, now I'm going to show you why it works, say, if you have a Gmail account. Here's a Gmail account. Again, this is not my main email. Test, testing from Gmail. Press send. Gonna come in here. Wait a little bit. Refresh. And see, there's that email. So this came in sending from my Gmail address, whereas my main email, which you know I use the mail app in Apple. Um, is not working. So I'm creating this first message for this first part of this video for you to basically ask you to go and test your email set, uh, email's ability to send into Evernote because this may be impacting, you may be sending stuff into Evernote but it's not getting to where you want it to go. And that's going to be a problem especially if you're sending in some important documents or whatnot. So I want to let you guys know that I have actually written into Evernote, even spoken to some of the support people asking them why isn't there a white listing email I mean I've been using you guys for over you know two, one to two years of your service what is happening so they are working on it but one of the things that would help me and help all of us is if you guys actually send in a, another request to say why is the email to Evernote feature not working appropriately I'm having problems my emails not sending in I mean not all of us use Gmail because obviously those are given priority, but normal web-based emails, I think they're kind of sorting things out of spam or whatnot. I don't know. So I just want to have this first part of this video just bring that alert to you. Um, and then I have some good news. So that's part one. Here's part two. Here's exciting news. You know, when I started for when I first started doing these videos for this channel, I have to tell you that I didn't think it was going to be anything massively big. But boy, was I wrong. I mean, that first video that I did, it has over 100,000 views. It's getting anywhere from 600 to 800 views per day. 
and the feedback and the comments and the awesome stuff that you guys are letting me know that you're resonating with. I just want to first say that I massively appreciate you. And in saying that, um, and really thinking about these videos and Evernote and the whole productivity lifestyle that I'm preaching within these videos and using this application and some other applications, um, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be spending more time creating more videos for you. But for me to do that, I'm going to need your help. So my goal is every single week I want to pop out at least two videos a week. Now, I realize that I may get busy and that may not happen, but I want to say that my goal every week is to pop out two videos per week. Now, given the fact that there's six months left in the year, two videos a week for the next six months, that's a lot of new content that I'm going to have to create for you guys that I'm really exciting about creating. So what I'm going to need from you is I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear your feedback about what you like about these videos, what you don't like about these videos. Um, specifically tell me like maybe a little bit more about you and who you are because ideally there's only so much that I can basically show you that I use the, the, the application for but I will tell you that one valuable thing that I love doing for people within Evernote is building custom Evernote setups for what they're doing what their job what their job is what their business is etc and I would love to be able to create videos just like I do for you right now except say, okay, I got an email from John who's in this type of business and in this actual video that I'm going to create for you, I'm going to show you how I would set up my Evernote if I were in John's shoes. And I feel like that the amount of value that could be coming from those videos and given to you could just be massively valuable for you to get some more takeaways, help you be more effective with Evernote, help you integrate Evernote into your entire life, to be the most productive, efficient, clear-minded person as you go about your day and go about your life. So, you're probably wondering, okay, Scott, what's the email I need to send this to you because I can't wait to fire it up. So, the email that I want you to send your feedback to and your emails to, it's Evernote Scott, just like the YouTube account, at gmail.com. Evernote Scott at gmail.com. And again, in that email, what I want you to put in there is, you know, tell me who you a little bit who you about who you are what is what it is that you do um, feel free to provide any feedback about the videos that I have up already what you like what you don't like if you have any questions about what's in them and then you know finally I want you to kind of use this as a jumping off point the beginning of this question you know use the how would you set up Evernote if you were a blank how would you set up Evernote if you were doing this job how would you set up Evernote if you were in this role, in this organization, to be the most effective? So obviously, if you, so let's just say your name's John, you would reply back to me saying, Scott, you know, hi, hi Scott, this is John. You know, I am in the PR business. Basically, a lot of my job is researching media, keeping a great media, list of media contacts to reach out to for the clients that I'm working with. How would you set up an Evernote if you were in the PR world? And what would it look like? How would it flow? How would your workflow be organized? It's those types of questions that I will be able to truly create some amazing content for you that's going to help you in your business, help you in your life. And even if you aren't in the business world and you're just using Evernote to organize all your life, I'm sure for a fact watching these videos, you're going to definitely get a ton of value that's going to just help you be more effective in your life. So. Again, wrapping it up, important alert, be sure to test your email's ability to send into Evernote, and if it does not work, please send in Evernote an email, or if you have a premium account, chat with the support people. I feel like the only way we're going to be able to make them budge is if we get a massive amount of people saying they're having problems. I know a lot of us don't all use Gmail. I don't. I'm still having problems. I'm still having to you know, deal with all the, the headache that comes from this. So that's the first thing. Second thing, I can't wait to hear from you. Um, I'm looking forward to creating more videos. Again, my goal is two per week. Um, ideally, I, I'm going to do the best I can to live up to that. If I can't, I'm sorry in advance, but I'm going to do the best I can. So I really hope that you have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week, and I cannot wait to hear from you. Again, that email is evernotescott at gmail.com. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys very soon.